In this video, I'll be teaching you three different transitions used by Sonny V2 with this clip. Which received replies of further praise such as, you deserve it, you seem so chill. After being rated by Dream. In this section, I will show you how to recreate the clip I'm using. I recommend you watch this as there's a few good tips that might help you. Drag your background image into the composition and make it a 3D layer. Go to transform and keyframe the Y rotation at minus 12 and adjust the scale and position until it's in the middle. Go to around 7 seconds and reset the Y rotation. Then just decrease the opacity and add a Gaussian blur. And if you're using this for an edit, you can keyframe these in. Then import the screenshot of the tweet or whatever image you're using. Keyframe the position so it's below the frame and reset it at 1 second. Select both keyframes, press the graph and create a curve like this. Keyframe the scale at 1 second then create another one for about 106% at 6 seconds. It will look like this. Use the rough and edges effect and play around with the settings to create a rough border. Now create a new shape layer and create two points on either side of the text and adjust the size and change the blend mode to difference. The colour you select for the stroke will become the colour of the text. The colour opposite to the colour you use for the stroke will become the highlight. I hope that makes sense, but if not, just play around with the colours till you find something you like. Open your shape layer and go to add then trim paths. Keyframe the end at 0% when the text starts to be red and at 100% when it stops. You can adjust the stroke by dragging these points. Then select both keyframes and press F9. Then parent link the shape layer to the image and make them both 3D. Now as you can see the background is clipping through. You can easily fix this by adjusting the anchor points so the image is in front of the background. Having these layers as 3D is important for some of the transitions we're going to do. Now this is the first transition which is quite a simple one. All you want to do for this is keyframe the image so it falls like this. Remember to play around with the velocity time graph and also you can edit this in any way. You can do it to the right or to the left or downwards if you want. Create a new black solid and keyframe its opacity like this. Make sure you add two keyframes at 100% so it holds the black screen for a split second. Then place the next clip so it appears when the screen is black. This simple transition can also be done in Premiere Pro. Now here's transition 2 which is nice, quick and easy and it looks really cool in your videos so let's get into it. Create a camera in a null object and parent link the camera to the null. Then go to 3 seconds 30 frames and create keyframes for the position and the scale. Go to 2 seconds forward and create keyframe for the scale at about 13% and also keyframe the position so you can see just below the image. Select all keyframes and press F9. You can also play with the velocity until you get something that you like. Place your clip so it appears when the image is fully covering the top and the sides of the screen. And keyframe the opacity at 0%, skip 30 frames and create another at 100%. Make sure that the clip you're transitioning to is below the image. Here's transition 3, it's quite a simple one, easy to do but it's effective so let's get into it. Create a camera and a null object and parent link the camera to the null. Set your clip to appear at 3 seconds 30 frames and make sure it's a 3D layer. And set its position so it's just outside of the frame to the right. Press P on the keyboard on the null object. Go to 3.5 seconds and set a keyframe. Then set another one at 5.5 seconds so that the clip becomes visible. Select both keyframes and press F9. Make sure that the image is not a 3D layer. Then go to 5 seconds 40 frames and keyframe the position out of view. Select both keyframes and press F9. Press R on the keyboard and create a keyframe for minus 2. Go to 3.5 seconds and reset the value. Press P on the keyboard for both the image and the null. Select both keyframes on the null and hold shift and select both keyframes on the image. Then press the graph. Select all keyframes and adjust the curve slightly to the left. And you should be left with something like this. So yeah, I hope that helped. And yeah, thank you for all the recent support. I'm planning on my next video being on Magnates Media. Hopefully the Coca-Cola video. But I don't know how long it's going to take me to actually break it down and make the video. But hopefully soon. I'll let you know in the community post. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.